tomorrow. I'm Laura Ingram. This is the Ingram Angle from a very busy Washington tonight. Jam-packed show. Everything you need to know about this sad, sad showing on Capitol Hill by Bob Mueller, Ken Starr, Saul Weisenberg, Mark Meadows, Dan Bongino, Chris Hahn, Ari Fleischer, and we even have a body language breakdown on Mueller, an expert who worked closely uh, with him also for years. You're not going to believe what he has to say about today's testimony. But first, Trump beats the elites again. That's the focus of tonight's angle. When he was appointed special counsel, Robert Mueller was described by the political, legal, and media elite as a brilliant choice. There is no more respected figure in American law enforcement than Bob Mueller. A stellar reputation uh, for no, non, no nonsense. He's a pro. He's going to follow the facts where they lead. This is big stuff, and Bob Mueller is the guy to do it. This is going to be resolved by one man sitting quietly at his desk named Robert Mueller. Bob Mueller completed another tour of duty. Well, at the time, I might have been the only one who wasn't buying it. I'm sick of hearing what a great uh, special prosecutor Bob Mueller is. I'm sick of hearing them all give cover to Bob Mueller. They should stand up and say, we'll see where this goes. Well, I should have bought lotto tickets that day. So where did this all go? Well, we found out today that when we saw a man uh, who, well, we thought was going to be well prepared, wasn't. I don't have it in front of me. I, I take your word. And I am not familiar with that. I am not certain of the, the person who uh, originally uh, uh, copied that quote. I don't know that for sure. I, I can't answer that question without knowing more about the, the uh, question. A man who wasn't well versed in the details of the investigation. I'd like to ask you the reason, again, that you did not indict Donald Trump is because of OLC opinion stating that you cannot indict a sitting president, correct? Uh, that is correct. A man who had to come back after break and correct that very answer. I want to go back to one thing that was said this morning by Mr. Liu, who said, and I quote, you didn't charge the president because of the OLC opinion. That is not the correct way to say it. We did not reach a determination as to whether the president committed a crime. And that was just a small part of it. So after all that, the same media establishment who lauded Mueller from the start, it was reduced to admitting this about today's proceedings. A whole lot of Democrats were on social media during this just calling it an out-and-out -out disaster, a televised disaster. On optics, this was a disaster. But he and I thought it really was in a very ineffective. The Democrats have to be disappointed. You look who's winning now. It certainly seems like Donald Trump is winning. <laughs> Finally, some honesty from Jeff Tubin. Look, anyone can have a bad day. You know, I'm a lawyer, too, and I was involved in a lot of white-collar investigations, really big corporate investigations. You don't always hit home runs. But this was a day full of swings and misses, and an investigation that was in search of a crime from the very beginning. And anyone but rank partisans would come to the same conclusion at this point. If Mueller was the consummate pro that everyone said he was, he would have used today to apologize to the American people and this president for what ultimately was a travesty. We'll never know the full extent of how much this has hobbled the presidency of Donald Trump. But I have to say this, even with this albatross around his neck, the president has once again beaten the elites at their own game. He's delivered economic success that's the envy of the world. Better try harder next time, guys. And that's the angle.